Bendworks can output two different types of files, CSV files for programmable benders and TXT files for non-programmable benders. The generation of these files is covered in our other videos. For this tutorial, we'll walk through how to use output files to bend conduit. CSV files can be loaded directly into programmable benders like the 855GX via the bender's USB port. Files can then be selected from the graphic interface on the bender. Once a file is selected, step-by-step -step instructions are presented on screen for marking and accurately bending the piece. TXT files, on the other hand, may be printed and used as a guide for bending on non-programmable benders. In this example, we will bend an 8.5 inch offset on an 854DX electric bender based on the conduit segment shown on screen. The TXT output file for this segment shows everything needed for accurate fabrication. The Greenlee bender type, conduit type, and conduit size are displayed at the top. The pipe identification section displays the unique ID given to the segment, while the IDs of adjacent segments are listed below. The prefix of this ID was input by the user during the bendwork split processing. Next, the locations for marking the conduit are listed. The bend mark line shows where to place the appropriate marks that will be used for making each bend. The Bend Angle section shows the final angle to be achieved. To make the first bend, align the bend mark with the hook's edge For the second bend, the conduit needs to be rotated 180 degrees according to the bend rotation line in the TXT file. This angle is relative to the first bend made, so it will always read zero for the first bend. To make the second bend, align the bend mark with the hook's edge The cut mark line shows where to mark and cut the conduit if required. The bend is now complete, and we can verify that it matches the conduit segment as it was designed in Revit. Happy bending!